Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today I have a really fun and easy way to track manual errors in Excel. So uh, for example, a couple weeks back, I was working with this like a summary report that, uh, that uh, somebody typed off of a screen from a system and um, they made a mistake and it wasn't balancing and uh, it was impossible to figure out where the error came from without going back to the system and rechecking each and every number. And uh, I was, I was uh, venting about that to a friend and he told me, well, you should check if your uh, difference can be divided by nine. It turns out if the difference is divisible by nine, then the error is usually that two digits were flipped. So it's a typo and it works like a charm. And we're even gonna see how to identify exactly which line has the error in it. Before we fire up Excel, you know, we launched Magnumetrics. It's still in beta and has uh, quite limited functionality, but uh, I just wanna take this opportunity to thank you all for all the positive feedback and all the ideas on how we can make it better uh, in the future. So we're working hard on that. If you still haven't tried Magnumetrics, First link in the description below, grab your free account, test it out and share your feedback. It really helps a lot. And uh, yeah, by the way, if you're enjoying the content, thumbs up will be awesome and a sub to the channel will be amazing. Okay, let's fire up Excel and see how to identify those hard to catch typos. Here in Excel, I have this like a summary balance sheet and you can see that it's not balancing. And uh, based on what my friend told me, just go ahead and divide this by nine. And I get an even number. So this would mean that two digits were flipped when this was uh, prepared. Sometimes it's quite easy to just look like a, like a system printout or something like that and compare numbers. But sometimes each of those numbers would come from a separate breakdown that has a lot of numbers in it. And uh, at sometimes the, the typo might be buried really deep. So this is an easy way to figure out that it's uh, a typo replacing two digits. And uh, if you go a bit further, uh, that's, that's the extent of what my friend told me. And it turned out to be exactly that. But if you look a bit further, Let's see, we have a thousand here, which is, has four digits. And this would mean that the, the switch happened between the fourth and the fifth digit, and the difference between them is one. If we go ahead and look for the difference between the fourth digit and the fifth, where there's a one, there's only one place where the difference is one, it's here. And this is where our error is. If we just flip those two, our error is gone. And this works pretty much every time. So let's look at a few more examples. So here we have a difference of 8,100 divided over nine, we get to 900. And this would mean that the switch happened between the third and the fourth digit. Let's go ahead and see where we have third and fourth digit with a difference of nine between them. And I've bolded it, but that's, that's the only place where you get that. And uh, given most of the times, it, it, it may be like two places or three places where you have the same difference, but uh, it would still be much easier to, to use this method and it would narrow down your search. So if I go here and if I replace the third and fourth digit, 09 with nine zero, that's it, the difference is gone. Here, same thing, two digits, so the second and the third difference of five. I only have one place where that's the case, second and third difference of five, and it's done. And here, it's the first and second digits, and the difference is three, which is again only here, replace those two, and we're done. Really simple, really easy. It won't solve all your problems, but it will definitely narrow down your search, especially when you're working with data that relies heavily on manual input. That's all for today, guys. I hope it was helpful and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to try Magnumetrics. First link in the description below. And uh, yep, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and uh, catch you in the next one. How you can find... Uh, <clears throat> and um, yeah, I'm even <clears throat> like a charm. So I first link in the description below. In the first link, 
<clears throat> Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. <clears throat>